The state of child welfare in Greene County was the focus of a forum today hosted by Community Partnership of the Ozarks. Chris Bryant has details about children who are going through the foster system. It is a it's a difficult topic to discuss and I think a lot of times it's easier to think this isn't happening in our community. For the past 20 years, child abuse and neglect has been a red flag for Greene County. Really making that call to action to organizations and community members that it really does take all of us to make a difference and to move the needle and reduce the number of children entering foster care due to abuse and neglect in our community. While there's still more to be done, the numbers over the years have shown improvement. The reunification rate for children and families has risen from 24.6% in 2017 to 47.2% this year. There's a lot of wonderful things going on in the system. There are a lot of people working really hard to, to make the changes that we need to make. We need to do that more. Uh, again, I like to focus on what we're not doing right and what we can change, but, but there are a lot of good things going on. There are a lot of caring, dedicated people that want to do better. And a, and a lot of it is just kind of getting a, a clear understanding of what the issues are. Speakers focused on the priorities for the Child Abuse and Neglect Collaborative, like early childhood, prevention services, substance abuse treatment, safe and affordable housing, and safe and affordable child care. So foster care itself is a very expensive thing for the state. We know that it takes about $25,000 per year per child that is in the foster care system. According to the Greene County Juvenile Office, of the more than 76,000 kids living in Greene County, 519 were referred to the Juvenile Office. There is not enough focus on this really important piece in the community. Uh, and as I said in my speech, you know, these kiddos coming out of the system are going to be employees. They're going to be parents. They're going to be taxpayers. Uh, and we want to make sure that what we're doing for them keeps them out of jail, keeps them out of prison, uh, helps them to be good parents, help them to have good jobs. The Child Abuse and Neglect Collaborative is hoping to see a renewal of the five-year sunset child tax credit along with a raise from 50 to 70% tax credit to level the playing field for all victims of abuse. In addition, they increased the funding cap from 1.5 million to 2.5 million. Change really does happen one child or one person at a time. In Springfield, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.